I don't know if you can see it. It's a spinner bite. I love to throw a spinner bite. I love it. A lot of times I'll fish this bait more than a lot of people does. But I have a great time fishing this. But there's times of the year I know when to throw a spinner bait. I know when to throw it. Then other times when I would throw a, a, a lizard, you know, or, or whatever it may be, or a worm or whatever. And I know the right times at times to throw the right types of bait to trigger the fish to bite. Same way. Listen, world. Listen, all my people that, my friends on YouTube and Facebook and you that I don't know who, don't know you, and this may be the first time because you've seen this, the title of this clip or seen the scenery in behind me. You want to watch it. Listen. Jesus came to this earth because he loved you and he loved me to die. And he came here so that we can have life, have it more abundantly. So if Jesus came to give life, then he wants us that's, that has attained life to go out in the world and give life. Listen, if you don't give Christ, if you don't present Christ to the world, to people that does not serve Christ, or live for Christ. And if you don't give Christ to them. Show them. Listen. We live in a world right now. That's more geared. Instead of just talking to you. And me. We want to say. Show me about it. Show me. Why do I need Christ? Show me. Why do I need to go to church? Show me. Why do I need to pray? Show me. Why do I need to fellowship with other believers? And, and so if we are not showing each other Christ, not getting in the Word, getting hungry, desiring this, and saying, hey, I got something that everybody needs. Listen, you that's watching, I've got something you need. His name is Jesus Christ. Whew, the Son of the Most High God. Christ came to die on the cross so you and I can have life. Right now, you may say, but preacher, you don't understand. I've went through this. I've went through that. I've been up. I've been down. I've been in. I've been out. And my life has been shattered. I've, I've went to this. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I've been getting a lot of emails recently. People that's been bound by things and addictions and things like that and they're crying out please preacher pray for me pray for people some people I don't even know who they are and 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 I'm not saying that as a bad thing listen I'll pray for anybody because my heart goes for those that are in need my heart's for the body of Christ because I believe the kingdom of God is at hand and it's time to repent the kingdom of God is at hand. It's time to turn your life over to Christ. You're not watching this by accident. And I didn't come to you by accident. But I came to you because this moment of now is your moment right now to surrender to Christ. Oh, I'm passionate about this. I love this. My heart, I, I'm, just, I'm just excited about Christ more than I've ever been in my entire life more than I've ever been. Whatever you've done, wherever you've been, what, whatever you're doing, whatever you've done the last five seconds doesn't matter. What matters is, is right now, you realize if Christ was to come back right now, you wouldn't be ready. Or, and I know we don't like to talk about death, but, but if you took your last breath right now, where would you spend eternity? A lot of people don't want to talk about this. But there's a heaven and there's a hell. But at this moment right now, where would you spend eternity? Heaven or hell? This choice is for you and for I to choose this day whom we will serve. 
You don't have to serve Christ. You don't have to serve and go to church. Live right. Live according to the Word of God. You can live however you please. But when the end comes, we draw our last breath or Jesus comes back for the church and calls us out of here, you had better know and know at that moment before then if you've made things right. Will you pray with me? Jesus is your answer. Everything else, you may have lost everything. You may have lost your family. People may have turned their back on you. But I am throwing you the Word of God right now. And I'm saying, grab a hold of this. Grab a hold of this. Because this is what you need. And it's Jesus. Pray with me. Say, Lord Jesus, here I am. I'm sorry for the things I've done. I've sinned against you. For all have sinned, come short of the glory of God. But I believe now, Jesus, that this moment you will forgive me because I'm asking and I'm believing and I believe you died on that cross so I can be saved, forgiven. And you rose again on the third day so I could be set free. Thank you, Jesus. I believe now that you are washing me with the blood and that I am redeemed and that you're writing my name in the Lamb's book of life. Thank you for it. In Jesus' name, I pray and believe I'm forgiven. You believe it? Then send me an email. Email me at Kilborn, that's K-I-L-B-O-R-N, Scott, at Yahoo.com. Or if it's on Facebook, just push that button, inbox me, and inbox me that, hey, I rededicated my life. What you said today has changed my life. If anything I've said has changed your life, send us a word. I want to give a testimony. Send a testimony out to all of our partners and all of our friends around different places we preach at. Listen, Christ is coming, and He's coming soon. Go into the world and tell them what just happened to you. Tell them it can happen to them. Give Christ to the world. They're waiting on it. Go on. Hey, get up, get up. Turn this off now. Get busy. People's waiting on you to give them Christ. Give them life. I'll see you the next time from right here in Manchester, Kentucky. God bless you.